Hello everyone and welcome back to Polybridge. Today I'm going to play Split Lift. Let's see, which cars go first? Okay, first to A and B, they should just go straight. So let's start with building just a normal straight bridge. And then C should go here and D should go here, okay? We definitely need to have split joints here and here. And build some kind of stable tube or something like that. And why can't I move that? For some reason I can't move things right now. Don't like it. No. Did not mean to press spacebar there. Let's get all of the little triangles right. Bar straight down. And see if that works. Can it handle the weight? Yes, it can. And then it breaks. Let's use a hydraulic to lift it up or something like that. We only have one hydraulic. So we more or less need to do something like this. And then maybe have one road. Like that. And probably steel or something. And something to get it to work like that maybe. Or probably make something that lifts it out up out here. So something like this out here. And would like to have it straight above. Here, yeah, that works. And yes, steal of the last way. Let's see how this works now. I would guess it breaks here. So I should maybe I'll make a split joint here. That part will have a lot of stress, so I should maybe replace that with steel, and that one breaks as well. Let's reinforce this. And over here as well. So let's move that to the side, at least for now. We have a limited road amount, I think, yeah. But let's just see if that holds or not. Okay, it does not break. That's great. It lifts it too low, so that's a big problem. But if we got the lifting part working at least. We need to have a road here again, of course. And a bit more steel. I moved it here. The more to the left you are, the higher you will lift it. We will probably get a pretty big increase in height from just changing it to this position instead. It might break because it doesn't have the same support on this side here, and this is not reinforced anymore, so that needs some reinforcement. Something like that. And I'm just under budget right now. So this might be the solution he's looking for. And move that down to get some more stress in the upper one. Still a lot of stress. Still! Yeah, might need to redo this here. So just have it straight, like that, and then have it hanging from that steel thing here. It will probably break that steel, yeah, good. I'm just testing so I know what's happening. Now I have two really strong steel support beams. And that road is just ding dangling. 
So it breaks when I lift it here. That's not nice at all. Let's try it from this point. But I think it was this point we had it before and it broke. So we might have some problems. And I don't I don't like problems. Could we build a crane? But I'm really bad at building cranes. So you have if we had something here, an anchor point, it would be a lot easier. Can't build so we push it up. So I think we actually need to build something like that. Could use an anchor point in the middle here. Just to get it a little bit extra up. And then of course reinforce this area with steel because we will definitely need to do that. And that one needs to be strong, so split it in two and do something like that. And pretty much the same thing on this here. It would be nice if we could get some support from underneath. So something like this and then connect it, but that would be expensive. Okay, that looks pretty good. It can't hold the weight. I would like to connect it like this, but then I wouldn't, couldn't have that as a red or have a road connected there. So then I would have to do something like this and it might work. We can try it. No, it did not work. Let's delete that. Makes it a bit easier to move it around. Add this back. Yeah, it breaks. Maybe add a cable to he up here. Right now I just want to have it level actually finish. And that one breaks. Of course it does. So, yeah, the steel is too weak for this kind of solution, I think. At least if you should get it up under budget. Oh, I think I got know how to do it. This point is not a, like, whatever it's called, a split joint. So what I can do is have a land brace lift on this side here and maybe just use hydraulic like that maybe and then have it extend a bit of steel here and why can't I place it next to the wall I really need it next to the wall okay I can have it next to the wall up there for some reason but not lower down then I need to expand. Okay, that's not the right thing. I need that to be a split joint. Okay, we need to have it a bit more up. And I would like it to be next to the wall. It's almost next to the wall now, I think. That cable breaks. We can change that to steel. For some reason I want to have one whole beam of steel there, but it doesn't matter at all. Okay, it breaks here. I would definitely have guessed that it would. Because that area will get a lot of stress. This area as well. And why did I just replace it with more wood? That's not a very good thing to do. You should replace it with a stronger material if it breaks. Not just use the same old lame material. And it's still at extend mode. Yeah. Let's make this a really hard and steady triangle. I would like it to be closer to the wall, but I don't think I can do it. I can try something. Okay, it actually stays there. 
So it probably is in a good position already. Can I have you expand? Slow you down to 60%. Okay. These two break. So replace them with, with steel. High speed, low speed. That breaks and that thing down there. And I have it on the wrong mode, so that could have changed a lot. Only this thing breaks now, and that is an easy thing to increase the strength of. Now it's stronger, more powerful. This one breaks now. Problem with having your bridge relying on it. And I have an idea. Add a cable there. So now the bridge won't tip down in the beginning as much. It's on just on the start you get the most amount of stress. So can I have these two as just normal steel now? Just for the beginning part. Yeah, actually. It looks like I could, but it will probably break when I... Okay, broke when it stopped. It should really slow down or something before it stops completely. If it doesn't already do that. And if it already do it, it should probably stop a bit s slower. And I need these reinforcements. Might not need that and might be able to replace with a cable to get it a bit cheaper. And if you're wondering, I have colorblind mode on for the cables or for this thing here. So I can't reinforce this hydraulic. That's the problem with hydraulics. It breaks and how can I fix that? How can I fix that stress problem? I don't think I can. And that's a really big problem. Because it's the one with brakes only. I could move it to the side or further out in the water. Or something like that and that might help. Let's get it to the middle. So I have it connected to this one here instead. And then I need to remove a lot of these things because the stress will travel in different ways now. And why have things built for the old when you can have them built for the new? And get it close to the wall and expand. We will probably need to lower it a lot more because here it won't lift as much. As you see, it doesn't make the same amount of difference here. So I would need to have it a lot further down and it will be a lot more expensive that way. But I, I'm still under budget right now, but that will change definitely. Because I will need an extra road up here. Let's see, how's it going? This breaks first. I need to replace them with steel one. Not what I was hoping to do, but I was thinking about doing it because I had that before. Let's change them to wood. Because there's almost no stress in the middle. You just have them so the steel doesn't bend. So now this does do not break. Can I get it lower? Yes, I can. Because I want that extra height. And it, I think these two broke. So replace them with steel. And it's flipping. It's flipping because this is 
higher than this point here. At least I think that's the reason. Can I get it lower? There, I have it under the landmass, now it shouldn't be able to travel up. At least I think it shouldn't. Okay, now it just moves back. Yeah, you have it connected to the landmass for a reason. Good. And did it change the percentage? Or not? So what's this thing? Oh, then I can actually move you up a bit. Because when you move a hydraulic, it also changes how much it extends for some reason. And it's really annoying. And hopefully the first police car can fit through that little hole. Can shorten that one a bit and it doesn't lift far enough for the lower one. So that's a problem. How do I fix that? I the only way is to lift it up higher or tilting that thing and I don't want to tilt that thing. I feel like that would be a bad idea. Instead of lifting in the lower one, I could lift in the upper one here. And that might reduce the price by a lot. Let's try that. So go to, to, to fair instead. As you see now, it's a lot lower. So I could do something like this. Instead. I would like to just anchor this here and to this side here. But I can't do that. And I can't do things that are impossible. Doesn't work like that. Add the wood. And we should give this a try. It will extend as much as it can from that point. And it's moving a lot. Like jumping up and down. That's strange. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. I feel like it should have extended further than it than it did. Okay, it's still moving up now. So yeah. That's a lot better than before. The bridge might be too heavy for it. And I then I would like to have stronger hydraulics because I you you have cobbles usually with suspension bridges to adding more hydraulics. Like here I can't. And I can't really change the weight a lot. And uh, let's increase the strength here. These two down need to be stronger, probably. And next time I will look at it in slower speeds, I can see which parts would break first. But I would guess it's those. And now lower the speed. 70%. I wonder how Bolt solves this level. Okay, didn't really see which ones broke because they kind of exploded. But I would guess them. But I would like to see Bolt Solution and see how he solves this level. He is the one who created this level. Let's lower the speed. He also created some levels in the campaign. Fifty percent, forty percent. Okay, I could reduce the extension, okay? What breaks? That middle thing. That one snaps. 
might be able to reduce my budget a little bit afterwards, but don't think it will be by much. Now it breaks. Let's r lower the percentages a little bit and reduce the speed so we can see what's happening. It's still over here, but it's under on that side. So I need the extra height, probably. So the car underneath can actually get to the right height. Because it needs a little bit of a jump. Yeah, it works. Awesome. What? <laughs> I wanted to go to the wrong location. So I've built all this to get it to the wrong location. I built the this car goes to here. So how the hell do I build it so the second car goes here? Because I need to lift this up a lot more. Yeah, that's really interesting. Let's see what that changes. Yeah. Not very good. <sighs> Cable here, here, and grid off. And almost straight. And we need this on the other side. Still falls down too far. The top one still needs to be strong. So it's just the lower one. Let's add back the X. And what we need is something to lower this thing here. But this might reduce. Yeah, might do that. So let's just do that and see if this works. So the, that one is now a lot lower. And I can lower this now. I can lower the percentage. What I don't like about this solution here is that you can't... I can just do that, maybe, and have it flip out. It's not... it's like a one-time bridge, and I like my bridges to be multi-used. So it can be used more than once. Let's increase the height again, because it jumped and almost got to the right place. Yeah. St a bit sh too short. I wonder if it's that the angle is too steep or something else. Hmm. Could we have this cable? Hello, cable? Why can't I select that? Please? No, I can. Can I select with cable? Yes. If you just have it drop down a little bit, instead of all the way. How does that change it? And I definitely do not like the jerky movement of a bridge. It's like, woo! A lot of wiggles. Almost. Let's see what happens next. It works, but it's both over budget and breaks. So let's remove at least one of those problems. I go for the breaking one. 
So this will be over budget. But I don't want to spend a lot more time trying to solve this level under budget right now. And if you solve it under budget, show me your solution because I'm really interested. I guess it would break if I do that. But this cable will break. Yeah. I just want to try it. But this is a fun and definitely difficult and different level. I will probably play it again and try to get it under budget, but not right now. And if you have any suggestions on a level that I should play in the future, suggest them down in the comments down below. Show me your solutions for this level in the comments as well. Just give me a link to the imager or something like that. And I will look at it, because I'm very interested to see what you would build. And see you next time.